Poplars are woody species that can easily be propagated and deployed in the field for reclamation practices if proper collection techniques are used. Poplar cuttings in Alberta must be harvested according to forest genetic resource management and conservation standards. Refer to Technical Notes number 25 for more information on legislation and collection. Cuttings should be harvested in the winter or early spring when plants are dormant because they've stored carbohydrates and growth hormones from the previous growing season. A small cutting is about 30 centimeters long and 0.5 to 1 centimeters in diameter. Small cuttings should be harvested in the same year as planting. Harvest new growth only from healthy looking plants. Poplar cuttings are most successful when there's a viable dormant bud on the terminal portion of the cutting that is anticipated to be above ground after planting. Use hand pruners to harvest and gather with bundling twine. No more than one third of the branches should be removed. A 35 centimeter cutting is recommended so that there's an extra five centimeters that can be cut back during pre-planting preparation. Larger diameter cuttings are used as big stakes, wattle fencing, or for erosion control. Two meter long cuttings have shown success in the field, but they increase cost and involve greater disturbance on collection sites. The young poplar sapling is harvested. Remove smaller branches with clippers and the top of the sapling once the diameter is less than thumb size. Looper shears, pruning saws, and pruning clippers are recommended. The trimmings can be used to stand on at wet and muddy sites, but are not recommended for planting. You can also bundle the larger cuttings and use a handsaw to mark the desired length, and use a chainsaw to cut the length. After collecting cuttings, proper storage is important. Refer to technical note number 25 for detailed information on storing cuttings.